Well, you know, it's a time, you know, you usually don't cover like bullshit politics, right? Like, you know, I cover like economic shit and things that lead to a deep emotion. But let's be honest here. All right. When you hear lesbian congressional sex scandal that involves naked photos of AIDS. Well, <laughs> you, you, my ears tend to peak up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Right. So. I done found out about this. I had no idea. I don't know if y'all had any idea. I'm not sure what's going on up on County Capitol Hill. Like, you know the deal. You know the place is corrupt. It's terrible. It's an awful place. It's full of swamp creatures and whatnot. It's a horrible place to be. But I feel like there's a teachable moment here. All right? And I think there's words to be spoken about female nature. <laughs> So let's read and get into this. So House Democratic leaders dodge questions over naked photo of Representative Katie Hill. All right. Democratic House Democratic leaders said they have not discussed or planned a response to allegations that Rep. Katie Hill was involved in a romantic relationship with two employees, including one in her congressional office. <sighs> Yo, look, fellas, I'm going to tell you like this right now. Don't shit where you eat. All right. It's a very basic premise that will keep you out of a lot of trouble in life. OK, it, it's, it's an important thing. All right. I'm not saying I haven't done it before in my lifetime, but that's why I don't do it anymore. I learned this lesson at 14 and fucked up and lost a job. You should learn this lesson now before you make the mistake. Do not fuck broads at work. OK. Speaker Nancy Pelosi met Tuesday with her top deputies for a planned meeting and did not discuss the allegations over first-term California Democrat. No other lawmaker brought it up either. An explicit photo of Hill, first published by Red State on Friday, shows a naked Hill, 32, sitting on a chair, combing the hair of a fully clothed woman, woman kneeling in front of her. Dude, I'm, I'm beyond flabbergasted at the fact that <laughs> first off how do you get elected congressperson at 32 years old all right number one you tend not to be intelligent enough but let's be real here man like oh you don't got to be intelligent you got to look good i don't know what this broad looks like you know what i mean like i don't i kind of want to look at it but i don't want to get my channel struck so at the moment we're just gonna hang back and y'all can go look it up yourselves Hill holds two leadership roles in the House, serving as freshman caucus representative and vice chairwoman on the House Oversight and Reform Committee, which is among the three panels conducting a closed-door impeachment inquiry into President Trump. Oh, Jesus. Man, listen, y'all is just digging for dirt. Like, these politics are dirty. All of this shit is completely dirty. This is literally like... Yo, I really feel like Trump should just come out and be honest about things. You know what I mean? Just just be real about the CIA running these operations and just, just open his mouth and say what's going on. We could avoid a lot of bullshit in this manner. On some real shit, we could just roll over all this and roll back. And you'd probably, he'd probably gain a lot of support from America and shit like that. But now let's, let's also have this conversation here. You know what I'm saying? So here's the thing. They're talking about like they're me too in this bitch. They're like, oh, you know, the congressional aide didn't have the ability to have consent because, you know, I mean, she worked under her, blah, 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 blah. Look, as a man, okay, as a dude, as a human being, I've had jobs and I've had jobs where I was uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? I'll be perfectly real with you. I've had jobs where I was completely uncomfortable where I worked at. You know what I did? I fucking quit and left. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, when you get down to that level where it's like, you know what? You're fucking, and you know what I mean? Like, yo, you stop fucking, just quit that. Just quit. You know what I mean? Don't try to hold on to your job for normalcy or whatever the case might be. Like, yo, go find something else. Like, yo, if you were intelligent enough to get where you were in that company, you are intelligent enough to get where you're going to be in another company. Like, real shit. It does not take anything to move from one place to a fucking another. When it really comes down to it. Like, ultimately. You know? So, I guess what I'm standing here saying is, is that 
you shouldn't sit here and be, you know what I mean, up in arms and concerned when you're in this position. Like, everybody has consent. Because ultimately, you can quit. You know, and I know females especially don't have the ability to stand here and go, oh, well, you know, I can get this job elsewhere because I got it. Like, yo, nobody's going to hire you outside of the government after you work for the government. Because, like, yo, nobody wants a government worker working for them. All right. Like, nobody wants a worthless, good for nothing, somebody who's used to the union protecting you all the time. And, you know, I mean, will violate you and scream harassment for every fucking law. Like, I got that. But as a dude, you know what I mean? And this is why, like, this broad thought she can get away with this shit, too, because this chick has a husband, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, it... <sighs> like, you know what I mean? This chick has a husband. Like, real shit. You know what I mean? So, let's keep going on this. Let's keep going on this thing. Right. A reporter asked House Majority Leader Steny Hoyer about the matter in Maryland uh, and Maryland Democrat. He said he had no comment and Hill stands accused of having an extramarital affair with a former campaign staffer in her congressional bid, as well as her current legislative director, Red State Reporter Friday. Campaign staff member is a woman in the congressional office employees, a man. One of them. <laughs> right. Hill took office in January 2019. The actions of proven true would violate House Rules Code of Conduct. A member, de a member delegate, a resident uh, commissioner may not engage in a sexual relationship with any employee of the House who works under the supervision of the member delegate or resident commissioner who is an employee of the committee <clears throat> on which the member delegate or resident commissioner serves. This uh, this or, re or this paragraph does not apply with respect to any relationship between two people who are married to each other. Congressional records show Hill's legislative director, Graham C. Kelly, began work in January 2019 as making a salary on par with House employees sharing that title about 75000 annually. Hill is denied having, having an affair with Kelly. Hill was involved in a romantic relationship with the staffer. She would end up on the subject of investigation by House Ethics, House Ethics Committee, which policy, uh, policies lawmakers accused of violating the rules. The ethics panel would choose to start an investigation into its own, on its own, or begin an inquiry of fellow lawmakers, ask them to initiate one. The Office of Congre Congressional Ethics, which is an outside ethics panel, sanctioned by the House, could also launch an inquiry into Hill if it receives a complaint by a group or an individual who's not a member of Congress. Hill could also face pressure or discipline from the Democratic leadership. In recent years, lawmakers caught up in set scandals have been forced to resign or decided not to seek re-election. Hill was involved with the campaign staffer, along with her husband, from whom she is now seeking a divorce in a three-way relationship. Hill ended the relationship with the campaign staffer when she arrived in Congress, but at that time, she was reportedly involved with her, legisl with her legislative director, Pelosi, California De uh, Democrat had no comment. Her representatives told the Washington Examiner. So, uh, it, it's, you know, I mean, it's complete nonsense. Like, real shit. So, she was banging a dude and banging a chick and banging a dude. She was married to a guy, right? So, she thought she can get away with this because her husband earned her money, more money. You know what I mean? So, like, you know, no matter what happened, she was cool. You know what I mean? She wasn't relying upon this gig. Not only that, you know what I'm saying? Like, she stood here and started banging another dude, right? Because you know, she got to Washington. You know how that one operates. You know what I mean? Familiarity. You know what I mean? Breeds bullshit. You know how the hell that operates, right? So, man, I, I'm just being real. I don't think, you know what I'm saying? Like, in any way, shape, or form, that... Yeah, this, this is why, like, I don't let my females work. And I don't, like, really, when it comes down to it, this is why I don't let my, like, yo, if you're with a chick, don't let her go to work. You know what I'm saying? Because familiarity breeds bullshit when it really comes down to it. And don't fuck around while you're at work. Like, yo, work's about money. It's about paper. That's all that work's about. So you shouldn't ever stand here and think it's okay to sacrifice your money for pussy. When it really comes down to when it comes down to everything that you're really looking at, like pussy <laughs> is not as important as your money or your motherfucking pay. Real shit.
Tom Peace and Pinoy. Know the situation. Peace be like.